Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of x second squared x dx. So actually, this integral can be evaluated using integration by parts. But I won't use the typical formula for integration by parts given by integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du to solve this problem. But instead, I will use the so-called di method or the derivative integral method. So using di method, we will choose the functions to be differentiated and integrated from the given integral. So we prioritize to choose first the function that can be integrated easily. So we can choose from x or second squared x. So both of the functions can be integrated easily. So I will just select the second squared x for the function to be integrated. And then automatically the remaining function x is the one that we will differentiate. Also at the side, we must have a sign convention. We must put alternating signs plus minus plus minus and so on. So we just need to extend these alternating signs at the side depending on the number of times that we must differentiate and integrate. So let's start with the derivative. So if we differentiate x, that's just equal to 1. And then for the integral, evaluating the integral of second squared x, that will be tan x. So when will we stop differentiating and integrating? So if we notice that the product of the last row can be integrated now, that's the time that we can stop differentiating and integrating. So notice that if we get the integral of the product of the terms in the last row, 1 times tan x, so that will be tan x only. So we can evaluate the integral of tan x dx already. So that's the third case when we can stop differentiating and integrating when evaluating integrals using the A method. So how do we write now the final answer? So let's multiply these diagonal terms including the sign convention at the side. So we will have positive x times tan x. So that's x tan x. And we still need to add the integral of the product of the terms on the last row. So we will have negative 1 times tan x dx. So this negative 1 is just a constant. I can just put in front of the integral. So I will have x tan x minus the integral of tan x dx. So we will have x tan x minus the integral of tan x dx. So we can have two answers for that. We can use negative ln of cosine x. Then don't forget the plus c. If we simplify this, it's equal to x tan x negative of negative ln cosine of x, that will be positive, ln of cosine of x plus c. Or if we use the other form, so we have x tan x minus, another form for the integral of tan x dx is ln of second of x, then don't forget the plus c. So we can have two forms of the final answers. For number 2, we have the integral of cosine x ln of sine x dx. Again, let's use the A method. So let's choose the function that can be integrated easily. So we can have cosine x or ln sine x. So obviously, cosine x is the easier function to be integrated. So we will put that under the integral function. And then the remaining function ln of sine x is the one that we will differentiate. Let's just put sign convention at the side, alternating sign, plus, minus, plus, minus, and so on. So getting the derivative of ln sine x, so that will be 1 over sine x times the derivative of sine x, that's cosine x. And uh, for the integral of cosine x, we know that it's equal to positive sine x. So notice that if we multiply the terms on the last row, so we have cosine x over sine x times sine x, it's equal to cosine x whose integral can be evaluated already. So therefore, we can now stop differentiating and integrating. So we can now take the final answer as, so let's multiply these diagonal terms. So we have positive ln of sine x times sine x, so I can have sine x first then followed by ln of sine x, then plus the integral of the product of the terms on the last row, 
negative cosine x over sine x then times sine x dx. So we will have sine x ln of sine x. So I can just put this negative sign in front of the integral. So we will have negative integral of simplifying this. We can cancel out the sign. We are left with cosine x dx. So we will have sine x ln of sine x minus integral of cosine x dx. That's positive sine x. Then don't forget the plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.